Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, all of my beautiful friends from the internet. I hope each and every single one of you is having an absolutely spectacular Tuesday or whenever you happen to be listening to this podcast episode, whether that be morning, evening, or night. Welcome to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Now, remember, if you're listening to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, the Alexa, maybe even, or Google Home, then please, 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 um, if you would not mind leaving us a rating, leaving us a rating and also leaving leaving us a review. You have absolutely no idea. It helps the show out so, so, so much. So please go ahead and do that for us. Leave us the rating and review. And also, if you have friends and you just want to tell them about the show, share the show, please go ahead and do that as well. It makes an immense amount of a difference. Remember, you can respond to this week's episode's question in Spotify by going and clicking the description of the episode and there should be now there should be now an option for people to comment I am fairly certain it's available rolled out now I'm kind of upset with how Spotify decided to like slowly roll this out and because it was a big part of the show well it it was it is a big part of my show that way I read I love to read off my beautiful uh listeners comments but I believe it should be working for everybody now. So if you go into Spotify, hit the description, you should see the option to do that. And I will read that response out loud on the next week's following episode. This, I will be reading responses out loud today. I know everybody was upset for the last two weeks <laughs> that I was not reading comments. But um, I will be reading them this week. Uh, what's next here? This is an ad-supported show. So please go... Uh, so so at... So please, at nothing. <laughs> this is an ad-supported show. So please uh, send me your advertisements. No. Uh... This is an ad supported show, so we'll take an ad break about 10, 15 minutes into the podcast, and then we'll take another ad break about another 20 minutes or 30 minutes into the show after that. Go ahead and check out our subreddit, r slash reddit asks us, where we post a new episode of Mega Thread every single week, and you can post in there about all things Reddit asks us podcast related. I'm doing the polls again, everybody. I will be doing the polls again. And also, obviously, usually. I promote my Instagram and my TikTok and my YouTube channel, but I haven't been posting on there as of recently. I will get back into posting on there, but it's crazy when you take time off from your show and you realize like, oh, wow, it's, you know, it's, I'm trying to take a little vacation, but it's, it's difficult. I'm trying to post every single day, but I will be getting back into that uh, rest assured. So with that said, why don't we read out the responses from last week's podcast episode so last week's episode was what secret would shock everyone if it came out now let's go ahead and start at the beginning we've got the first one coming from the green changeling luke yeah for the second week in a row i'm not gonna read your comments me we've been tricked we've been backstabbed and we've been quite possibly bamboozled yes i have engaged in a bit of bamboo bamboozling a bit of rambunctious bamboozling if you will uh yeah sorry about that uh but i am back reading the comments i know how much you all love to take participate in the show and i love it too you guys are the best fans in the world and i straight up straight up believe that you guys are so loyal such loyal and and dedicated fans of the show and i feel like that's like a fan is not really what i want to call you guys you guys are like fams family you're my fams um was that just so lame i feel like as i'm getting older i'm just getting way lamer like i'm just getting like i'm just turning into the zoomer like we can call each other fams if you want uh next one comes from stressed human hello stressed human welcome back it's a 500 character limit okay that's good to know i think it might be a shock to my biological side of my of my family knew that I'm actually engaged to my boyfriend slash fiance. I haven't brought it up because I don't have a good relationship with them and just don't talk to them in general. That's interesting. I mean, it would probably be pretty shocking. You know, getting married is a, is a pretty big deal, but at this, and that's, and congratulations. What the hell? That's awesome. Congratulations. That is so amazing. I'm so happy for you. That is so everyone in the chat, please, uh, please wish stressed human a, uh, a very, very warm congratulations. Cause that's pretty freaking awesome. But uh, honestly, if they don't deserve to know that, you know, they don't need to know, like, yeah, if, if you're not, if you're not close with them or if they've been mean to you in the past, I mean, what are they going to say? Like, I can't believe you didn't tell me about your wedding. And it's like, well, th- why would I tell you about it when, uh, you basically disowned me? 
You know, why why would like I I think the I I think the, that that our relationship is not I don't think we're it's only been downhill since the last time we spoke. So I think I'm going to just move on with my life and you know not make my life about your life. So how about that? We can just we can split ways now. Every time that things get brought up, it doesn't ever seem to go well for me. So you know, I think I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to live it for myself. Next one comes from L Dude. What's going on? Finally, I can comment again. You can't silence me, Spotify. Luke will try Cabanos. I will try it. I will try. I can guarantee you that I will try. Uh, I will try very hard. I have to find a Polish delicatessen, I guess. A Polish... Uh, uh, de- deli, I guess. I mean, I'll get that figured out. But yes, Spotify will not sp- silence you. It will not silence any of our listeners. Next one comes from uh, Fian3900. What's up, Luke? I know it's been a while since I last commented, but I finally caught back up. All good, man. I don't know if you already recorded or not, but my answer is that a friend of mine is dating two boys at once. Dang. That's... That's juggling, all right? That's a... You can... You join the circus with those skills, if you know what I'm saying. That's that's got to be difficult, you know. I, I, you know, here's the thing though. I'm if you guys are adults, if you're if you're if you're in high school, I, I like or younger than you know college age or past college age. I feel like when you get into your like your 20s and stuff, it's not that weird to be kind of casually dating two people at the same time because I think this is so funny because you just can't do this in high school. In high school, you just cannot do this. But when you get older you realize that not everybody knows everybody and you can actually have more of like a private life. And I think that if you're casually dating people, you know, and, you're, and you you have to just be honest and not say like, oh, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm open to seeing where things go, but you know, I'm dating around at the, at the moment, which is like a totally normal thing because I think that in, when you're younger, there's this expectation to be like, you know, once you meet somebody and you're hanging out a couple times, everybody knows about it and now you suddenly feel a little bit like committed to things and you're you don't really know if you guys like really mesh that well and you're kind of you still want to you know meet other people hang with other people and I think when you're when you're a little bit older as long as you're being honest about it you know you're not just being like oh yeah it's totally just us we're in it for the long haul and uh what the heck why is McDonald's calling me that is so weird hmm that is why why is uh why is my mechanic shop calling me? That is super weird. Oh, I'm getting a call from Netflix right now. That's Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting a call from the Netflix app. Oh, sorry, I have to take this. It's settings. Settings is giving me a call. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. No, but I think when you yeah, when, I'm going to get to the point. Anyways, w- what I'm saying is that in your 20s, it's nice to d- to date around a little bit because then you get the opportunity to like meet new people, see what you mesh with and then not be super committed to something and then when you do find something you feel like more strongly about you're looking for that like stronger connection you can cut things off with people easier than you can do when you're in high school because when you're in high school everybody knows everybody knows everyone and and then that when they someone hears about that they, they kind of you know you, you let's just say that type of activity doesn't make you a lot of friends it doesn't make you a very very popular person uh but in your 20s you're kind of just like Nobody, these don't people, these people don't know each other. And I, I have the, if, you know, if I don't want to be super committed to something right out the gate, I want to test things out. I'm seeing a couple people right now and I'm just kind of seeing what works. I don't think that there's anything particularly wrong with that unless she's, yeah, she's getting, you know, she's uh, hanging out with the other dude and she's getting dudes and she's getting a call from settings. Then that's, I think a pretty big red flag. Then last one we have here comes from the subreddit. On the episode Mega Thread, what's going on? The Dopic. Hey Luke, I missed the polls. Bring them back. I will be doing a poll for this episode, so no worries. For the question, I think people will be surprised if they heard how confused math makes me. The reason that I was that the reason was that in the ninth grade I had an appendicitis and missed a missed a lot of math. Ever since then, I've always been confused with algebra and that sort of stuff. The reason it surprised people is because a lot of people would say that I'm pretty smart for my age or whatever. Have a great day. That's, this is, yeah, this is the problem too with the, with the school system. It's like you miss like a, you miss you, for like, um, emergency or whatever. You miss a bit of school and then, and then you fall behind in a subject and they're like, 
you're just not meeting expectations. Like we we think that you should, we think that we should you should be put in the uh, in the other math class. It's more practical, you know. It's it's more for people your speed. It's like, dude, I literally let miss like the first three months of school. Like, can we not can we not backtrack a little bit here? Maybe look at the history, provide some context here. I don't think that I'm, I don't think that I'm, you know, I don't personally feel that I, that I. I'm not reaching expectations. I just, I just think that uh, you know maybe missed out on a couple key concepts, key, uh, key lessons. You know, I might be able to, 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 to catch up a little bit if I was given a bit more leeway, a little bit more instruction. You know, let's let's work together on this. You know, there the lots of people don't give you the option, and then you end up just you know taking crappy classes because you're not given the option to make up for what you know what you didn't or couldn't have learned, which is annoying. But anyways, uh, I think that's it for the comments. Somebody, po somebody posted on the subreddit, and I, I think that they think this is Ask Reddit or something because they're asking a question about sunblock, and I'm like, this is a, this is. A, I don't know if you read the description of the of the or of the uh, the subreddit here, but but this is not Ask Reddit. This is Reddit asks us for the podcast. <laughs> So thought that was really funny. There's just a random post in here about what sunblock or sunscreen is good for making dra a drawing on my sister's back. I'm a female. Don't worry. Like, what? Um, welcome back to the Red Asks Us podcast. Where we will be drawing this week sunblock on our Reddit Asks Us podcast listeners. So send in your sunblock sunscreen drawing submissions and I will be... Uh, talking about them on the next week's following episode uh rating them and letting you know which one was the, which one was the overall best so in case you're wondering to do that all right we're gonna read off the the um the would you rather for this week this was an interesting one the would you rather thank you for everybody for commented by the way please go ahead and do that again for next week's episode uh, or this week's episode would you rather have all chickens shrink to the size of mosquitoes or have all mosquitoes grow to the size of chickens? See, this one's a tough one. This one's, I was struggling with this one. I was really contemplating here, you know. I was channeling my inner Socrates, okay? Channeling my inner Plato on this one. You know, I was, I was doing, a, I was putting my philosophy degree to work. Okay, folks, would you rather have all the chickens shrink to the size of mosquitoes or all mosquitoes grow to the size of chickens? Personally, see, I, always, I, I don't know if I should tell my opinion to you guys because then I don't know. I don't want to be like secretly convincing you one way or the other because chickens shrinking to the size of mosquitoes would suck because obviously I don't really think we'd be able to eat chickens anymore. But in mosquitoes to the size of chickens also doesn't seem like very much fun. However, the only reason why I might say mosquitoes grow to the size of chickens is because I feel like we could turn this into like a video game. I feel like we could we could make this the mosquito hunt. You know, we all just go out. It's like it's like the the purge. You know, we got we got like baseball bats and weapons and and a katana maybe. And you just go out and you just fucking slice up all the mosquitoes. You know, I feel like I feel like that'd be kind of fun. And you don't have to feel bad about it because they're mosquitoes. I think they're kind of universally the most like hated insect. Mosquitoes get no love. They didn't really do anything. They're kind of just, they're kind of just, they are what they are, but we don't, we don't play with mosquitoes around here, man. We don't fuck with mosquitoes around on this podcast, okay? All right. If a mosquito's listening, listen, bro. If a mosquito is listening to this podcast, go ahead and turn this off, dude. Go ahead and turn this off. I'm reaching out to Spotify. All mosquitoes are banned from the show. All right. No mosquito. We just don't, we don't play with mosquitoes around here like that. All right. Like this is, this is some serious business. No mosquitoes, no mosquitoes allowed, all right? I, I, I'm going to have to get discriminatory on, on everybody right now, but I'm sorry. We, we can't, we can't have mosquitoes, the ops. They're the, they're the ops, all right? Straight up. They're, they're the ops. We can't have them listening to the show. They're going to, they're going to get in on all of our inside jokes. Me buzzing around in our ears, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to get in our little inside jokes. It's like, get away from me, all right? Get away from me. You, you can't even comment on Spotify, okay? With your little friggin'. I don't even know what they're called. Anyways, we're going to take a short ad break, and then we'll be right back in to this week's episode. Welcome back, everybody, to the Reddit Asks Us podcast. I'm so happy to be back here for again for everybody uh, again for a normal episode today. So as you can tell from the episode title, what's the dumbest thing you've heard a single person say or do that made you think, ah, 
That's why they're single. You know, I think sometimes we, you know, we all have that friend. We all have that person in our lives that we might know that's, you know, wondering why they're single. And it's like, well, um, I don't know if, you know, it's, there, there might be some underlying uh, root cause issues that are going on, uh, that are going on here that might be, might be causing some strife in your dating life. I think that it's not, when, per, when, when someone's like it's everyone else, I think we can automatically assume it's just you. It is just you. It's not everybody else. Everybody else is a large sample size, okay? And if you're consistently getting the same reactions from people, I can almost guarantee you it is not everyone else. It is most likely you. Next one. So for first one comes from GDog99. What's going on, GDog? Friend of mine struggles with anxiety and just generally doesn't handle social situations well. <sighs> I thought that was just, that was it. <laughs> what if that was the end of the post? They're just like, fucking loser anxiety and doesn't handle social situations well. And they're like, oh, I wonder why I'm single. It's like, wow. Why don't step out of your comfort zone then maybe? How about that one? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> Have you ever just thought about uh, taking a deep breath? Oh, you get anxious. So does everybody, okay? I get anxious before I play in a rec basketball game, okay? Everybody gets a little anxiety. Take a friggin' deep breath, how about, Okay. Listen, I understand you have deep-seated trauma because your parents left you when you were a child and you have abandonment issues. But friggin' like, get a stuffed animal or something, dude. All right, like, l l get over it. All right, you're not five years old anymore. Mommy and daddy are gone. Bye-bye, okay? Say goodbye to mommy and daddy. All right, they, they left. They obviously didn't want you. So, all right, but you have to want it. Like, is, is it more about them not wanting you or you not wanting them? Obviously, you weren't good enough for them, so... You didn't want them to a certain degree either. Like you just didn't want it, dude. You didn't you're not you're not you're not down for the grind, okay? You just don't want it enough. You need to start grinding, all right, bro. So anyways, so struggled with uh with women for many years. Finally got talking to a girl on a dating app and asked her out. He was talking to her to lunch he was taking her to lunch for, uh, for the afternoon and asked if my wife and I would meet them afterwards for drinks. When we met them for drinks, it turns out they grabbed McDonald's and drove around town from place <laughs> to places on Craigslist so he could buy Magic the Gathering cards. He wore sweatpants and flip-flops. It was winter and snowy. He spent most of our time angrily ranting about how, we, how an upcoming minimum wage increase was going to kill the economy and close businesses. He made minimum wage. He never saw her again. What? Bro was shooting himself in the foot. He, I, like, I don't understand. It's like, it's like, screw these minimum wage employees, right? You know, you know what? It's, it's, it's backbreaking work, but it doesn't even deserve the minimum wage, okay? Because it's like, what are you, what are you contributing to society, okay? Like, try being, a, try being a billionaire. How about that? See, you'll probably, con you'll probably contribute to society a lot more if you have a billion dollars. Is what I think personally. How much do you make? You know, let's not, we don't even, we don't need to get into the weeds, okay? We don't need to get into the weeds about this. Point is, I have a yacht on pre-order, and I'm waiting till my crypto startup finally hits, okay? And it's gonna hit, all right? Th th I swear, I, pr I swear on my life, my crypto, I'm, I, I, like, I, I literally started a pump and dump. This is how, this is how crypto works. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm taking the Sam Bankman freed route. Okay, and he was a billionaire, so I'm just not gonna be stupid like him and not get and just get caught. <laughs> like, what the heck, bro? What what did you think you were doing? You know, you, br clearly, bro doesn't know understand how to how to clearly run a Ponzi scheme. Okay, that is so goofy. Meet them for drinks afterwards. You guys just met in the McDonald's parking lot for a for a a strawberry photopia. Like that's what you meant by drinks. Like, oh yeah, let's go and get drinks. You go to take her to 7-Eleven for a Slurpee? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that's like, that'd be kind of funny. That'd be kind of funny. It's like, yeah, I thought we'd splurge. It's not even, I, I uh, it's not even that day that 7-Eleven gives all the free Slurpees. I thought I'd splurge on you. Do you want a large? Yeah, it's fine. I know the guys here. 
They'll use a you'll they'll let you use a double gulp double gulp cup for the Slurpee. Yeah, I know the guys at the front. Yeah, they're chill. They're chill. They'll they'll let us do it. Don't worry. Why why don't I get them uh, to throw in a free taquito for us? How about yeah? Bet that'll get you all riled up. Maybe we can hang back, go to my place later. Maybe I can order a Seven Eleven pizza for us, and we can hang out and watch one piece i don't know <laughs> i hate i hate shitting on anime but it happens so often i just see so many memes about anime but i know i know everybody loves anime but i'm talking about the the weirdo people all right i'm not talking about if you like one piece i know i've heard it it's an amazing show but we all know that there's people who love the shows a little too much okay take it a little too far it's always you know when they start talking in the anime voice now i'm like maybe maybe you've never actually had a had a sip of alcohol in your entire life nothing wrong nothing wrong with that but i think this a little sheltered a little sheltered you know maybe you just branch out okay Br- branch out a little bit from the basement you know when when you're still playing pokemon go and you're like 25 Maybe we need to start thinking about picking up some more hobbies, okay? Picking up some extracurricular activities. Glad you're getting out. Glad you're getting out walking around. It's good exercise, but maybe we can think about doing some other stuff. Maybe join a yoga class, you know? Maybe a spin thing, you know? That's really popular right now. That is that is so insane. Bro got one chance and fucking blew it. <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I just, I just can't talk to women. It's like, no, dude, you, just, you took her to McDonald's. You went around, driving around, you, you like, looking for Magic the Gathering cards. You know when you can look for Magic the Gathering cards? Literally any other time ever. Like, like they're, 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 there's, Magic the Gathering is gonna be around. This woman may not. She, I can guarantee you she's not gonna stick around now. All right? You, bro just blew it. He's like, hmm, how can I possibly make this the worst thing for somebody to experience ever? How can I make someone feel super awkward and talk about only my interests and my uh, opinions about everything? You know, how you know, how do I do that? How would I go about never seeing this person ever again? <laughs> like, what the hell? Um, let's move on to the next one. This one comes from Rister87. Friend dated a guy who took her cat to the shelter as a stray. The cat was chipped, and they called her to pick it up. She couldn't figure out how the cat got out, and the boyfriend claimed he didn't know. It happened a second time, and she had the cameras and checked for the person dropping the cat off. She called him on it and denied it, and he denied it. She broke up with him, but I always joke that she drove him to the shelter instead. What? How does this, like... How how did, like, what did the vets say? Like, maybe she just didn't didn't say anything but, but like but no but she must have told her boyfriend like yeah the cat's chipped and for some reason ended up at the you know the spca like geez 30 kilometers from here like i, I know mittens and mittens doesn't like mittens will walk around the house but doesn't mittens doesn't really tend to leave like 30 kilometers is I mean, that's pretty far like that's 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 a good distance that's that's far Okay, that's over a half marathon away. I really don't think she would have just gone out for a little stroll of 30 kilometers. But And she's chipped. Like, what does he think that means? Is that, like, means, like, he thought there was some, like, jewelry on her? Yeah, she's, like, iced out. You know, she's she's got the, uh, she's got the rolly, all right? She's got the rolly, rolly iced out. So, uh, yeah, that, that's how they were able to recognize her immediately. Is she's just... You know, she's, she's got the, uh, she's got the Richard Millie. Okay. And, and that, that, that shit's chipped, man. That, 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 the Richard Millie is chipped. Okay. And, uh, that's, that's how, that's how the vet knew. The vet knew was like, damn, this is, this cat's dripping. Like this cat's got drip. Like I'm saying like this cat knows what's up. It's what is the, the iced out, be- the bezel on the roly like that's you, you can't mistake that i know exactly whose cat this is like, is that is that what bro was thinking like what does he mean but what does he think chipped means was he just kind of ignoring that it was like yeah i mean again i i didn't know you could recognize cats by what they ate 
I mean, so what? I fed the cat a couple chips, and the freaking the the vet's all just like, yeah, she's chipped. She's all chipped out. That's how I was able to tell it's your cat. She's just way too chipped out. Like, okay, fine. I guess I'm not supposed to feed the cat too many chips, or otherwise they're gonna know which cat it is. Like, what? Stupid. I guess next time I take her to the frickin' shelter, I'm not gonna feed her chips, because obviously they get recognized. Like, I don't understand what bro was thinking. Like, because if she didn't know <clears throat> that her, her boy for her boyfriend took the cat to the to the shelter, she probably would have told him. Uh, he, bro just did not. Bro, bro has no ability to put two and two together. Like he just can't. He just. He, <laughs> He's, he, I think I'm concerned for bro. I think he might have, like, Alzheimer's or something. Maybe, like, dementia, early onset dementia. Like, he's just forgetting that he took the cat already. You've already done this. I have a ring camera. Like, I saw you do this. I was like, yeah, I don't know. That, that person looks a lot like me. That's really weird. I guess somebody decided to dress up as me and take your cat to the shelter. Wow. But since your cat's already there, ah, oh, well, it's almost like two birds with one stone. What? What's the second bird? He's like, what What goes up must come down. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, let's just, you know, come on, babe. Like, it's you know, the cookie crumbles. It's how, it's all, you know, it, it's how the cookie crumbles. It's like, can we not just say, not say random sayings and actually you're dumped? Uh, reply from Felak. So obviously it's super shitty that he was doing this. And that's the main takeaway here. However, but dude thought this would work after it failed the first time did he take the cat to a different shelter or just hope this one didn't do chip checks or was he just trying to get rid of the cat for a few hours what was the thought process process here yeah like you don't if so you need someone to babysit the cat like like a friend a mom like uh, or like a parent or someone i feel like it, taking them to the shelter is not the first option they have pet watching services it's like, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get the cat out of my hair, so I took it to the pound. The scariest place you could possibly take an animal like that. Uh, next one comes from Saint Nobody. This one is actually pretty funny. I met this guy at a concert, told him he was hot, exchanged contact info. We went out to dinner and to the movies a few times, hung out at events we were both at. Mind you, he's hot, funny, polite, really socially awkward, but overall very nice. Man was floored when I finally just asked him point blank if he wanted to have sex. He did not perceive my interest. When I met him, I wondered how I wondered hard why he was single. It's a small town, you know, like good men are in short supply. It's because he's oblivious, completely oblivious. Last time we went out, a really hot lady was trying to pick him up and just sat back and I just sat back and watched her send signal after signal and drop hint after hint and it rolled off him like water off a duck. You know what though? I feel like that's the safe way to go i feel like you'd rather be on that side like as a guy i feel like you'd rather be on the side of you know i don't I, i'm gonna hold off you know instead of thinking and then instead of being on the other side of the spectrum where someone's just like oh a nice pants and the guy's just like wanna fuck you know come back to my house come back to my house you want drinks you want, we want to go get drinks like i feel like it's good to err on the side of caution as a guy i don't think i've known too many too many women who are fond of you know giving a man a casual compliment and then assuming that he just like you know that she just wants to you know rip his clothes off i generally think that that's not like that that's not a that's i don't think too many women are very responsive to that kind of you know oh like you're did you just get a haircut your hair looks really good today Wow, um, shall we take this uh, somewhere else? A little bit more private? How about? Maybe? I, I think uh, what you're saying is that uh, maybe we should get, uh, get a room. How about that? Yeah, maybe we should uh, book a room. Yeah? How about, uh, how does that sound to you, sexy lady? Please? <laughs> I just feel like, no, it's, it's better to err on the side of caution. Like, you know, I think, but I have heard a lot of women be like, wow, I guess he's just not interested me in me. And bro was just like, had no idea there was interest even, even occurring at the time. He was completely, uh, ignorant to the whole thing. 
reply from Limbor. I'm I'm not trying to get to blow my own horn here, but I feel like I was the same when I was younger. A girl in college wanted me to come over to her apartment to fix her laptop at 11 p.m. I went into her apartment. Her friends went back into their rooms to leave me and the girl alone. She just kept trying to spark conversation with me, but I just kept trying to fix her PC. I fixed the laptop and told her what was wrong and then left. But wait, that's not the only instance. When I was about 21 years old, I worked at a nursing home and the nursing director for the home asked me if I could come by her house sometime to fix her PC. I went over there at about 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning and it was only her there and all she had on was a bathrobe, nothing more. Again, I fixed her PC and left. For both occasions, it took me years to realize what was actually happening. He's like, I literally went, I, I did a comp sci degree because people kept asking me to fix their PCs. People just heard I was like good with computers. And then I was like, damn, I'm getting a lot of requests to fix these PCs. I feel like I should switch my major. And I hate my job, hate my life, and now realize I was just good at fixing PCs. I don't know anything about coding. I can't, I can't code computers. I could build a computer. Not, you know, but, I, but I, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really one for Python, you know, C++. It's not really, JavaScript is not... It's not where I'm getting a lot of my my um, my 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 purpose and reason for living life. I really like playing League of Legends. That's very different than coding computers. I I think that both are they're mutually exclusive. You know, just because you like to play Valorant on the PC doesn't mean that uh, you should do a comp sci degree. I think that it's those those the correlation does not necessarily equal causation on that one. Uh, that is just so crazy. Like imagine just like like her computer's just like just bashed, and she's like, "Well, I guess you'll ha you'll have to come by another time and fix it." But why don't since you're here, why don't we just hang out? Seriously, you decided to bring me here when this. This computer is clearly screwed up. You obviously took a sledgehammer to this thing. How did you think I was supposed to come and fix this? You wasted my time. Wasted it. Absolutely time in the garbage can. Do you understand how insulting this is for me? Oh my god. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. Yeah, yeah. Don't call me ever again. How about that? Don't waste my freaking time. Okay. I, 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 I walked here like a couple kilometers I don't live here. Okay, I took an Uber to get here. I, 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 I had to pay out of pocket for this expense because I thought I was trying to do something genuine for you. But you clearly wanted to play some weird prank on me because your CPU is in shambles. Okay, you, you split this thing all over the floor. Oh, I wish... Here, let me apologize. No, get away from me. I don't... I, you know what? I'm just... This is unacceptable behavior. This is completely ridiculous. Can't believe I'm being treated this way. I'm, you know what? I might take this to the dean. I'm gonna get you kicked out of school. She's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> She's, do you not understand? I'm trying to sleep with you, idiot. Okay. I don't, my computer's, my computer was already broken before you came here. I just decided to have a little fun, make it a little obvious for you. You know. Next one comes from fucking frolic. Well, we know what you like to do in your spare time. I've posted this before, but if ever a comment warranted a repost, this comment, it's this comment in the post. I was on a first date and the guy was going on and on about some boys trip he just took with a few college buddies. Then he said, and my friend Rob was like, wait until these <laughs> bitches figure out we're not choking them because they like it. <laughs> That's so fucked. Like, dude, you're telling me you hate women. Or your friend does, and it amuses you on our first date. You know what turns on women? Like, you know what? Like, no, like nothing else. Like, nothing in this world turns on women more than telling them you hate them. Than being over-the-top obvious about how you want to assault someone. You know what's really sexy? Assault. You know, something just, something about it just... You know, unconsensual, you know, violence, force application on another human being for just no reason. Honestly, no reason. The less reasons, the better, honestly, that you can get involved in a, a pointless altercation. You know, oh, just gets my, 
gets the old reproductive system, you know, just gets it going, you know, gets it nice and nice and warmed up, ready to go. Just unprovoked, straight up, morally, morally wrong violence. Morally just abhorrent actions. Gets them every time. Gets them every time. I walked up to this one woman and I was like, you know what, let's skip the small talk. And then I punched her in the face. <laughs> like, really? That's your logic here, bro? It's like, what? I, like, heard about it. Like, uh, where did you even, yeah, like, like, why would you even think that this is, like, a good thing to say? Like, just so you know, like, like, uh, just imagine, you know, they're, they're laying in bed together and he's kind of just like, just, you know. So I'll let you in on a little uh, industry secret here, but uh, you know when I was choking you? She's like, yeah, actually, that was kind of like, you know, it was hot. I like that. It was, it was different. It's was, it kind of cool. He just did that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I wasn't doing it for your pleasure at all. No, I just, uh, I just hate you. I hate women. I just, uh, it had nothing to do with you really at all. Like not even the slightest it actually had, like, actively n negative uh, things to do with you. No positive intentions there. Just thought you should know that. So you would know I'm a little off the hinges. I'm a little off the rocker, as they like to say. I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little unhinged. Call me unhinged. Wow. Call me unhinged. I like to choke women out. I like to violently assault other human beings. Call me unhinged. Why don't you? Jeez, nail me up on a cross, why don't you? I, I like to commit illegal acts of violence. Like, holy crap. Well, I'm sure you've ran a stop sign. Like, why are we acting like I'm the bad guy? Like, I only just hate women and want to violently abuse them. It's like, really? Like, I don't think, this is not Riz, bro. This is not Riz. Bro has negative riz going on right now this is not uh, this is really ruining your chances with i think pretty much every human being next one comes from judge bread three like if someone even if like a dude told me that like he's like yeah i don't choke women because i like it i'm like you are crazy i am calling the police like, I, I don't want to be friends with you, dude. Like, you're, you're hyping up the fact that you're just, like, a violent person with clear domestic abuse issues. Like, that, I, that is not, that's not hype. Like, you know, bro just expects me to dap him up or something. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, dude. Like, that's, you are, you, you need help. Like, you should be in jail. Like, you are a bad person. <laughs> like, what the hell? I'm bragging about that is just so crazy. Next one comes from Judge Bread 3 A friend of a friend who used to hang out with my roommates, bigger guy, didn't really take care of himself, didn't do anything except get high and play GTA 5, says, Women these days won't date unless anyone they make six, uh, won't date anyone unless they make six figures. Yeah, dude, that's definitely the problem with you. It has nothing to do with the lack of hygiene. Yeah, that's that's. I I think you're I think you're 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 barking up a wrong tree here. Like you you can't like this is you can't you can't talk to me about this kind of stuff because bro, th like I have seen you actively decline in how much you care about yourself and your appearance in the last year. I think I think the biggest giveaway for me was when you installed the uh, the toilet on your gaming chair. That was the biggest. That was a bit of a like, wow, you actually took time out of your day to install a toilet on your gaming chair. And it doesn't even flush. It's not hooked up to anything. It's just basically a giant hole. You decided the only reason you were going to get up in the past year was to cut a hole in the bottom of your chair so you could staple a couple plastic bags and just let loose let her let her let her go let her hang you know just, just live live the free life i think uh 
I think that was kind of the where where the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I, I that was kind of the indication of being like, yeah, I didn't f- think you were gonna find anyone before, but now I know you're not gonna find anyone because that that is a th- that is a illogical move. No one no one thinks of doing that. I think at the moment when you start turning your gaming chair into a toilet is the moment I think. That is supposed to cause a little bit of reflection, you know, while you're underneath the chair stapling the the bag. I think you should be thinking about, hmm, is this normal? You know, while you're looking and you're like, yeah, this is, this is it. This is innovation right here. No, I, I the, the, the thought that's going through your head definitely should not be, you know, a positive one. If anything, that should be utterly sad. That should be just devastating. What am I doing? I am preparing the poop chair. I am setting up for the poop chair. I think I've re- like if if that doesn't scream rock bottom, oof. Like I I really don't I oof I I no I, I if you're coming away from that taking away positives then, yeah, I, I think you might have to be prepared to live the rest of your life single as fuck. Reply, it's like, make six figures. Like, yeah, that's the problem, bro. It's it's six figures, all right? You know, I, I keep seeing on Instagram a lot of these videos and people will go up to, like, girls on the street and ask them, like, oh, how much does a man have to make? You realize that because some of these, like, I I, I follow some genuine accounts that kind of ask this question, and a lot, a lot of girls will just go, well, to me, you know, it's not really about money. It's about whether or not they're a good person and whether or not I think that they're, you know, that they believe that their life is meaningful and and the things that they're doing in life are, you know, are, are making a positive impact and they like what they do and, and, you know, they do, they do have something that they do, you know, some job motivation i she's like I, you know a lot of these girls and it's like yeah we're, i think like we're just cutting together the po- the worst cuts you know that that's like cu- that's like cutting together a giant reel of of frat dudes and their expectations about women like you can't like like it, the the cookie cuts both ways on this one all right as much as you can find crappy people talking about their unrealistic expectations for partners do you know who also has unrealistic expectations for partners? Just crappy people in general. Like, just really just crap people. I'm pretty sure if you went and asked Brad, Chad, and Thad about their expectations for women, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of women would be pretty pissed off about those those uh, those uh, expectations that they have. Next one comes from or a reply from Teeny Tiny seventy seven. I worked with a guy who was pretty skinny but had absolutely disgusting hygiene. His glasses were caked in oh fuck, dead skin, and his hair was always his long hair was always messy. Bro, unintentionally gave himself dreadlocks, and had long fingernails with always dirt under them, and had a lingering scent whenever he left a room. The only two things he talked about was how he was going to become a pro wrestler and how women never seemed interested in him. I wonder why, bud. You can't even see out of your glasses. Dude, he's like, yeah, I wonder why women aren't really interested in me. He's wearing his goggles. They're only goggles because of the amount of dead skin. They're like pushing off of his face. They're actually becoming attached. Uh, like like the, the little part that rests on your nose... Ha- the skin has grown around it. Like the glasses are now, if you try to take those glasses off, you're gonna, you're gonna, you might cause an infection, right? This might hurt the guy. This is, like I said, bro unintentionally gave himself dreadlocks. He's like, oh, why'd you decide to go with dreads? Decide? (laughs) What do you mean decide? I didn't decide anything. This is just my natural hair, baby. This is my natural, oh natural. I know how women are all about the oh natural look. You know, I know that the uh, these natural stores are getting more and more popular. So I thought I'd. Oh, you're gluten free. Oh, you're a vegan. Well, have you ever looked at my cakey, dead, greasy hair before? 
right up your alley. Oh, natural, baby. Have you heard? Have, have you ever smelled me when I've walked by? That's what a little thing I like to call Luke number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I could bottle it and sell it. Yeah, I knew. That's exactly what you're about to say. Exactly what you're about to say. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. I literally just sec secrete it from my sweat glands. It's just secreting from me all the time. I just bottle it up and I'll be the next uh, OnlyFans star. People are going to be buying my body sweat all over the internet. I uh, I don't think that that's a great business model, my guy. I don't think that selling your selling your sweat is a like if you're just wringing out your shirts from sweating into a into a cologne bottle, like I I I think that's a pretty niche market. I'm gonna have to just go out on a limb and say that's a pretty niche uh, niche business model you've got going on there. I don't really know if that's. Uh, franchisable, you know. I don't really know if if there's a lot of expansion, not a lot of growth, for for that uh, for that kind of uh, business you've got going on there. Next one comes from just a just a GMA, just a grandma one one seven two. I was at a party where a man had been invited specifically to meet a woman who would be there. It was a setup, in other words. He asked her to play pool and a very innocent and pleasant way to get to know someone, right? He immediately started to dominate the game and he held nothing back, including, 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 including taunting her when she made bad shots and just criticizing everything she did in general. Of course, he won and rubbed it in her face like he was a 12 year old. Think in your face, loser. <laughs> and these people were in their 30s. It was straight out of a sitcom or something. Everyone who saw it knew uh, why he would remain signal single. In his mind, he's just got like a sick montage going on. It's just a montage cutting cutting with him. He's going behind the back. He's just like, wow. Obviously, look who didn't show up to play. You obviously aren't playing like uh, the game's on the line or anything. You know what's on the line right now? A second date with me. And you're obviously not playing very well. You're obviously not making a good impression. Okay, you you wanna you, you wanna get on a second date with me? All right, then uh, I'll, I'll, you know what? I will if you can hit the the eight ball in right now. You'll get a second date with me. How about that? She just snaps the stick over her leg. Oh no! I uh, I'm a I'm a klutz. Looks like I broke it. She clearly, just intentionally snaps the stick. That is <laughs> so wild. Yeah, you, you know what? You know what gets women to be really interested in you? Flexing on them. Just dominating them in something and then making them feel bad about it. Yeah, and uh, you know, acting like it was there, like th like they didn't try hard enough. I really don't think, you know, giving her the middle finger is going to be too too great you know I, I don't really think you should be doing the lebron james crowd crown on head celebration at uh, at Dooley's pub and bar okay i don't i think this is not right place right time this is this is the guy who who's in the who's in the like community bowling league and he just like is the worst guy ever he's so good he's so good he's an unbelievable bowler but he has no friends his friends that are are his friends are like his barber. That's the only people who he's like yeah, like he's not he's not friends with anyone. The guy who he consistently sees at the drive-through window. He'll call that guy his friend. That's I don't I don't think uh I don't think James in the window of Burger King is is too familiar with your he might have memorized your order but i don't think that that means you guys are you know tight as fuck i wouldn't i wouldn't say that 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 there's those two are are uh I, I just wouldn't i wouldn't go as far to say you guys are friends you know he knows what you're gonna get you get the whopper every time okay he knows you come in for whopper wednesdays whopper wednesday okay I went to Burger King last night, so I literally just like saw that on the, saw that on the on the sign. That is so wild, though. Like, yeah, what a what a what a great way to make an impression. Just just he knocks her down and just does the stepping over her celebration, the too small celebration. 
He's just like, he's doing, start doing, he starts doing Fortnite dances. He's just been like, look who could never play any competitive game against each other ever. Look who, look, look who I'm never playing in cards. I could build, I could probably build a, build a puzzle faster than you. He's like, do you, do you, do you, have you ever even picked up a Rubik's Cube? Do you even know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? It's like, you know, I haven't heard a single question asked about me. I'm not too interested in hearing about your life. A coworker. So next one comes from Taco Eater One Two Three Four. Coworker had a short relationship and a breakup, and was obviously depressed about it. So I engaged and I asked about it. His comment was, "I just don't understand how to make women feel like I believe that their opinion matters when they always have such stupid views of life." Not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. You started strong, okay? You started strong. That was a real. That was a real ref- moment of reflection, okay? That was a real moment of. Of, of inner contemplation. You started with, you know, I just don't understand how to make women feel like I believe that their opinion matters. You know, I, 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 I want to be accepting and, and I just, I'm not really good at making people feel like I, I, for some reason, maybe it's, you know, the way that I, I respond to people when they tell me their views, but it's, it's, I, I try to listen. I try to listen, but I'm just not good at, at, at being an active listener. Maybe I think I just need some work. No, no. No, the real problem is, is they just have stupid fucking views of life. I was hoping it was a weird way of saying he's just struggling to treat women equally. So I, how do you struggle to treat women equally? That doesn't make it, that's like, a, come on, bro. That like, that's a, that's a, that's like if someone just said, came up to me and said, like, I really struggle not being racist. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean you struggle not being racist? Don't be racist. How about that? You know what's a really easy solution to struggling with being racist? Not being a racist. Just stop being racist. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I struggle treating women equally. You know what really might help with that? How about you just treat them equally? <laughs> like, what the? That's really, really easy. This is probably the easiest problem with the easiest solution. Um, so I asked him to talk about it a bit. Didn't misunderstand. To him, men's views are obviously superior, and it's all about simply pretending that women matter, and he was struggling hard to do that. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I guess you would be struggling uh, to, to be, you know, believe that women's opinions matter when you are a diehard misogynist. I, I think that's like, you can't pretend this one. This isn't something you can just fake Okay, so yeah, I wanna, I wanna pretend like I'm like they're list, like I'm hearing them when they're talking to me. It's like, why, pre- why do you have to pretend? Why don't you just do it? Like I, I, the, I think no matter what you do, it's always like the it's every single time you're he's gonna f- just go. <sighs> he can't do it. They can't do it. They're just gonna they're gonna they're gonna come around. He's like, oh wow, I, uh, <sighs> sorry, I just. Ugh, I heard you talking a little bit too much over your allotted time, and I just got frustrated, okay? It's time to let the man talk. All right, I've heard a lot of yap from you tonight, and I think it's time to let the, the person with the actual opinions who matter speak. Yeah, the, the, I, I think you know what, uh, what I'm... Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? It's like, um, well, I'm putting down my drink, and I'm... Uh, I'm putting down the bill uh, you can pay, and I will never see you ever again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post on social media about this. How bad this was! Like I, I started recording halfway through because this was genuinely. I felt verbally assaulted tonight. So that that was that was not that was not great. That was really not great. Not amazing first impression. Yeah, it's. I don't think uh, it really. <laughs> It, I really don't know where you're getting riz and misogyny, you know, kind of mixed up. Th- those two are n- are not one in the same. They are really not. I think they're v- probably the furthest you could possibly get from each other, you know? I don't think that uh, trying to court somebody is going to do really well when you insult them for something so fundamental, it's, I think it's like, wow, well, yeah, we might, we, we might have a little bit of differing views here. Okay, I think, I think that we, we're just, we're not seeing eye to eye on this, really. I am not a terrible person. <laughs> so, I think this isn't going to work out. I'm not a, I'm not also a terrible person, so. 
think that's going to be the, the end of this. Anyways, okay, folks, we're going to wrap it up for there for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Now, remember, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcast, please, please, please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. Uh, you can go ahead and comment uh, under this week's episode, and I will read that response out loud on the next week's following episode. So uh, make sure to answer answer this week's poll and check out the subreddit r slash reddit asks us on Reddit uh, and we where you can post and comment in the mega thread or comment or post anything uh, podcast related. I love each and every single one of you. Peace out. Love you. Goodbye.